your boy Eddie Ed. I'm doing a little reviewing. I want to see what you guys think about this. So, I'm reviewing week one of the NFL, right? I'm about to bet for week four. But, check this out. You see Baltimore and Kansas City, right? You want Kansas City, but it's a good opponent. And they put it at a minus two to make you think that it could go either way. But, look what the result ended up being. Kansas City won by two and a half, right? So, a point that didn't show too much confidence, it went with the home favorite, right? And, the 46, it went over. If you tease it down, it still goes over. So, we're looking at numbers over 45. So, look at this. Eagles and Green Bay. In theory, it was week one. But, again, a minus two. It doesn't give you a lot of confidence, but look what ended up happening. Eagles won it. And 49 points shows there's going to be an over, and it did go over. It won 63 points. So the 49 shows not only was it an over game, uh, but the minus two go with the favorite. Buffalo again. Six and a half, they won, but they didn't cover. That's why I always cha say change the points. Even if you got to reduce it by two, because if you would have, Buffalo would have won. But they missed it by half. And once again, 45, go with the over. Even if you wanted to tease it, you still would have won with the over. I hope you guys start seeing a pattern here. Again, Saints, you know, is the better team over Carolina. Point spread is a little scary. Three and a half. Of course, it's the point spread you want, but why is it three and a half? But look what the end the result ended up being. 47 to 10 is a 57 point game. And they covered. I mean, we're probably kicking ourselves right now. We didn't go with the favorite with these low points in week one. And a 41, normally you would think it would be the under, but then you got to tell yourself. Who's the opponents? You know Saints are good at scoring, and they're going up against a team with no defense, which is Carolina. So, that's not a good analyzing, but I'm going to have to analyze it that way when I see this matchup again. Now, Colts at home, but they're not favorite. They covered. They, they covered the plus three. Um... But look what ended up happening. The, the minus three, Houston won, but Colts, you would have still won. So if it's not that high, at least tease it. And you could have got Colts with a plus nine. Probably would have been a good bet. And again, anything above 45, look, it went over. A 48 for the over and under, and it went over. Then we got the Miami Dolphins. When you know they lost their quarterback. Three and a half shows a lot of confidence, actually, on a team without a quarterback. So, oh wait, actually they lost it during that game, actually. So, at three and a half, if you just change the points, just change it, you would have covered this game. And the 49, I've learned anything that's not 45, 46, 47, 48. Once you see 49, it might actually go under. And it actually did in this case. So, that's just something to give thought of when you see a 49 and a half. Now, Minnesota, you know, is the better team over the Giants. But they left that at a minus one. Left that at a minus one so it won't be that easy for you to pick. And a 42 automatically makes the game an under. And look, it did. 28 to 6. It made it to 34-point game. It went under just... So if you wasn't too decided on the... Should I take the minus one? At least look at the over and under. and You know, that would have been a good game for the under. Plus, you know the defensive teams. The Giants and Minnesota. Again, we see an over and under, under 45. Again, went to 26. Went under. Seven and a half at home favorite showed too much confidence and ended up not winning. 
Now we're going to start seeing this a lot when a team that's supposed to win, if you start seeing that, that touchdown mark, that six or seven, it's very dangerous. Because if they should win by that, point spread should be a little bit more, eight, nine, or ten. But these sevens give you a chance to think that, yeah, these teams could win, and we start seeing the results. They, they can't. At least with the 41, you know, you still got a good chance for the under. Again, 42. The number's on the 45. Game, game ended up going under. Plus, we all know Pittsburgh is good for defense. So if you wasn't to decide it on who should win with the minus four, because you know Pittsburgh is a good team, so a minus four doesn't show that much confidence. It actually shows a lot of confidence on minus four. But when they're, when they're trying to lure you to a confident game, Look what ended up happening. Pittsburgh ended up winning. So they try to lure you with that minus four thinking Atlanta had a chance. So I just want you guys to see the pattern in here with the over and unders and the spread. So Chicago, again, a 43, it went under. Again, point spread under 45. It went under. You know Chicago... Is notorious for the for under games. The minus four. That one was a little tricky, but as, as trying to read it now, now we see a minus four. You never know because of the opponent Tennessee is not a slouch, and Chicago probably should have been favored in this game. But for the fact that they were favorite, they actually won it. I don't know if you guys can understand that. Seattle, once again, six six and a half point game. Shows a lot of confidence. Did they cover? No. They missed it by a hook. And the 42 and a half ended up going over. So you got to watch it with that point five sometimes. When they put a hook, um, sometimes it won't mean that it'll go under. But if you would have teased it, you could have brought this game up to a 48. And look, it would have gone under. The total score was 46. So a 42 at the end of the day should, does show an under as well. Again. And don't go too much with the favorite team at 6.5. You'll see you guys can see this. Hold on. Okay. A minus 3, once again, it doesn't show too much confidence. But they ended up winning, right? A minus three makes you think, damn, are they going to win or not? But look, ended up doing it. And once again, a number under 45. Look what the over and under was, 32. I just want you guys to see the pattern. Now check this out. I'm on the Hard Rack app right now, and I'm, I'm going by the same theory right now. Cincinnati on the road, minus five. It's showing a lot of confidence. Cincinnati, we know, is a better offensive team. And Carolina just came from scoring a lot. So I would think the better bet in this one, it'll probably be most definitely going with Cincinnati. And the over. So for right now, I'm going to go with the over as the more solid bet. Jets... I mean, Jets, yeah. A minus eight. It's definitely not a, a point six and a half or seven and a half. An eight is what I want to see. A eight is a little bit hard to take, but as we both know and how to read these numbers, I mean, do you really want to take a 39 with the under when you know Jets is really good with offense? I think I'd rather take this game with the Jets. And change the point spread. Change the spread to a Jets and a minus four. Seems more solid. So we got Houston at a minus five and a 44. A 44 is tricky. Because that could go either way. But a minus five. They're due for a win, Houston, after what happened last week. 
So that five and a half actually shows confidence. I hope I'm reading it right. I really hope I'm reading it right. Because Jacksonville is just horrible at times. So I'm going to give it to the home team in this case. And I'm going to change the spread. I'm going to change the spread. Look, look how they're already making it harder. All right. I'll take it at a two and a half. Yeah, two and a half just under a field goal. All right. Chicago. We're going to have to jump on that 40. Because Chicago got a horrible quarterback. And that minus three shows it should win. But in this case, I, I think LA Rams would be the better bet, guarantee, because of how they're playing. I think they're the better team. At 40 also looks really good at the under. Looks really good at the under. I want something really guaranteed. Well, just judging how the, the Bears have been playing, that minus three, I'm not fooled. I'm going to go with the L.A. Rams. 44 again, that's the tricky one. A minus two. Green Bay shows no confidence, no confidence. It makes it hard to pick. And what, what what happens when it makes it hard to pick? You go with it. Because they're going to win. Minnesota Vikings have been looking good lately. But this minus two, we already know, was a trick. So that's the right, right call. We already got a five-teamer so far. Atlanta. It's not easy to take at a minus three over the Saints. And that 41, it's looking really beautiful with the under, honestly. But Atlanta's looking like a really good team. I think I'm going to move it by just a half. Atlanta. They just got to win by two and a half. Okay. Philly, we already know, has no offense right now. So that 42 is a dead giveaway with the under. I barely even got to think about this. I don't want to mess with that spread. I just want to mess with the under. Pitt. Yep, definitely going to go with that under. That makes it an easy choice. I'm going to go with the total points. And I'm going to go for the biggest one. Under. 44 and a half. That should hit easily. San Fran, you already know they're a way better team than the than the than the New, uh, New England Patriots, and that's minus ten is a dead giveaway. I would love to go with the under with that forty. Unfortunately, San Fran is just so good at offense that I'm gonna try to change the spread as far down as I can. So let's see what the spread would make me bring it down to. A minus six. I think it's good enough. At home, it should be an ass whooping. Maybe I should stop right there with a with a nine teamer. Washington and Arizona. Forty nine. Uh, we already know what a forty nine shows. And three and a half. I'm going to have to skip it. You can't read all of them right. Right now that one is scaring me. So I don't know what to make of it. So I'm going to have to leave it alone. Cleveland at a minus two. Or 36. 36 really showing me the under. We know how good they are in, in defense. Should I just go with the under? Yeah, I think I'm going to go with the under. So total points. Total points. Bring it to the highest I can. 40 and a half. Go with the under. 
Kansas City definitely showing confidence. 42 showing an under. LA Chargers. 42 is showing me under. Or should I go with that minus 7? I hate that minus 7. If they should win, it shouldn't be a minus 7. Should I just go with the under? I think I'm going to go with the under. Total points. Under. Okay, we got an 11-teamer going. I don't need to go higher than that. 411. Looks good to me. So let's see how many I get right from this. But I just wanted to show you that, guys. All right, it's in the books. Done.